Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is about time to live in Cassandra. Cassandra has an optional time to live feature which can expire and delete data after certain period. So TTL is always set in seconds. It can be set at a table level or at a query level. So data expires and marked as tombstones once it exceeds the TTL period. So it, now I have a three node Cassandra cluster, which is up and normal. No tool status. So now you can see all the three my uh, nodes are uh, up and uh, normal. Now I am going to create a table. So I am going to create a table ratings by email in which uh, I am inserting title year, email and rating given date it rated and uh, location as columns and my primary key is uh, email as partition key and uh, title as a clustering column and the default time to live is 60 seconds so which means the data inserted in this table will be deleted after 60 seconds so let me create this table for creating a table we must connect to the sql cell in this we must use a key space to create a table. So I am using one particular key space and creating the table. So the table got created and the data inserted in this particular table will be expired after the 60 seconds. So let me insert the data also. Let's see. So now you can see the data over here. Now I am going to exit from here and uh, I will flush the data into this table using node tool flush command. Now I am going to the directory where I stored the data of this particular table. Now I am going to this particular folder. And now you can see I got a uh, SS tables. Now I am going to see the SS table using SS table dump command. So now you can see that expired is equal to true. Expired is equal to true because data got vanished within the 30 seconds. Let's see. Let's again connect to the SQL cell, use that particular key space where the table got created. And now I am going to select everything from that table. So you can see zero rows, that means all the rows got uh, expired within the 60 seconds. So we can also set the TTL period at a query level. So let's see that example now. Now you, I am creating an another table. And inserting the data with the TTL is equal to 20 seconds. Now I am creating and inserting the data and it got created. Let's see if the selects are from this particular key space and the table. So you can see there's the data, but I used TTL is equal to 20 seconds. So after this 20 seconds, we will be getting 
deleted. So you can see the data got only the all the row, rows got deleted within the 20 seconds. So all this deleted data also becomes as a tombstone and uh, gets deleted after the GC grace seconds. So you may have a doubt about uh, what is the difference between the normal delete tombstone and this TTL delete tombstone. So I can explain you. So there is a big difference between regular tombstone generator by delete and a TTL generated tombstone. In case of a delete, the tombstone marker has to be written to each replica. If any replica node is down and misses the tombstone marker, it may generate a zombie data. So when you write data with TTL, the expiration is written along with the data. So this means that if that node goes down and recovers, it will still carry the expiration date and time and generate that tombstone. So with TTL delete, you don't need to worry about of the zombie data and also uh, we should we should never worry about the running repairs in on the all the particular nodes to make sure that delete has uh, reached all the nodes. So the advantage of uh, TTL delete is uh, it will never create say zombie data. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.